Today's book is called Fruit Bat. Bluey, Bingo, Mum and Dad are playing pop-up croc. Again, says Bluey when the game ends. No, that's it. Bedtime, Mum replies. Not fair. Bluey doesn't want to go to bed. No! All right, says Dad, following Bluey and Bingo outside. Say goodnight to the animals. Bingo waves. Night, kangaroos. Night, bilbies. Night, fruit bat, says Dad. No, fruit bats don't sleep at night. They're octurnal, explains Bingo. You mean they don't need to go to bed now, asks Bluey. No, but you do, says Dad. Bluey wishes she was a fruit bat. But fruit bats don't get to play rocket ship. Dad zooms Bluey and Bingo upstairs to the bathroom. I don't need a shower, complains Bluey. Yeah, you do, you grub, says Dad. Not fair. I bet fruit bats don't have to have showers, says Bluey. But fruit bats don't get to play penguins. Look at me, Mum, says Bluey. whack a -doo. Wee! And they don't get to play the story game. Dad starts reading. She opened the door, but out jumped a huge, hairy snore. Wake up, the kids squeal. Spider, Dad yells. They laugh until Mum comes in and kisses them goodnight. Not fair. Bluey wants to be a fruit bat, not go to bed. Bluey sneaks downstairs and cheekily asks Mum if she can stay up. Dad is asleep on the floor, dreaming about playing touch footy. He doesn't get to play much anymore, Mum explains. Why doesn't he get to play it for real life? asks Bluey. He's busy, sweetheart, working and looking after you two. That doesn't seem very fair. Bluey has an idea. If Dad dreams about footy, maybe she can dream about being a fruit bat. She runs back up to bed. Bluey closes her eyes and all of a sudden she's soaring high above their house, flapping her arms like a fruit bat. She flies past bedroom windows and sees Mackenzie fast asleep. She gets massively full, eating lots of fruit. Then Bluey hears a familiar voice in the distance. It's Dad playing footy with his mates. Hey, Dad, yells Bluey. Hey, Bluey, you're a fruit bat, says Dad, waving. How is it? It's great, says Bluey. You get to eat a lot of fruit. It looks like Dad is having a lot of fun playing footy. No wonder he misses it. It's time to head home. When Bluey wakes up the next morning, she does. She thinks about Dad. It doesn't seem fair that he doesn't get to play footy for real life. But she's never heard him whinge about it, not even once. I had the most amazing dream, Bluey says, walking into the kitchen for breakfast. Dad's doing sit-ups, so he's ready for when he plays footy again one day. Bluey has something to tell him. Thanks for looking after us, Dad, Bluey says, giving him a hug. You're welcome. Stay tuned for the next Bluey book.